I was drafted in the Army in November 1965. Went through all the uh, training and I was sent to Vietnam where I spent uh, roughly two years in Vietnam. Serving as a pilot in the Vietnam War, Sanders Williams flew medevac operations for nearly two years in the U.S. Army. Once I got drafted, and like I say, I always, whenever I decide to do something, you know, I give 100%. And same with the, once I got drafted, I just went in, did my best, and that, that was it. But his service temporarily stopped the day he was seriously wounded. This is Purple Heart, Bronze Star, and the Vietnam Campaign Ribbon. And in the center of that display, a piece of William's personal history. This is a piece of their fragmentation. It's from an AK-47 that the doctor recovered out of my leg when he did the surgery. Despite the injury, Williams traveled with the Army to Washington, D.C. back in 1968 after the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. The 82nd Airborne responded at the request of the Metropolitan Police Department for assistance. I was you know, seen anything like that before. Decades later, Williams never left the nation's capital. After retiring from the Metropolitan Police Department, he was connected with the Semper Fi Fund, a military nonprofit helping to remodel his home and provide financial assistance for his medical visits. My wife and I called her the angel from heaven because she came at the right time and she saw that I had a need and she made sure that it was uh, taken care of. Helping provide for a veteran who's already given us so much. Nicole D'Antonio, WSA 9.